This new update was just released. It is called the Sunken Kingdom. We have a boatload of things to unload. I will be showing you guys all these secrets and everything that you need to know about this update. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's not waste any more time, let's hop straight into it. There are so many things that we need to talk about in this new update that it's a lot to cover. So we're going to jump straight into covering this, and I ask, all I ask is that if this video helps you guys, that you guys leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be going shrine by shrine and showing you how to complete treasuries in different videos. So this will all be spread out into multiple videos. I might show you two or three shrines and where to get the journals in this video, and then we move on and we'll do other shrines in another video. So sit back, relax, let me do all the work, and you guys just follow. With this new update, we get introduced to shrines, coral loot, and the breath of the sea. Unfortunately, you cannot drink the breath of the sea, but you can sell it for a pretty penny. It's just like mermaid gems. In this new update, we get introduced to the Sunken Sorrow ship set and Sunken Sorrow scar. We also get introduced to this new coral curse, which looks so good. So way anchor and set your sails, as we're heading out to find the secrets and get some loot along the way. I hope you guys all enjoy, and let's hop straight into this. So we're first going to find the accommodation that we need to unlock this Legend of the Sunken Kingdom quest. This says that we need to unlock the Mysteries of the Sunken, Sunken Kingdom commendation. So we're going to pull up our pirate log, we're going to find the new update, we are going to find Mysteries of the Sunken Kingdom, and it says here that we need to uncover all of the secrets of the Sunken Kingdom, which are the 30 journals, there are 5 journals, and there are 6 shrines. So there are 5 journals, a shrine, which equal up to 30, and once we've completed that, we can collect this voyage, and we can complete the voyage to unlock the curse. Now this curse looks very cool. There's a blue that goes down your chest that looks like you've been underwater and your eyes are blue. This is a really cool looking curse. Now this is what the curse looks like in more detail. It, it kind of makes your skin black and it puts a pattern of blue and teal and purple on you. And it covers, it goes on your eye and it goes like down your chest. It looks really good with blue outfits and it looks good with outfits in general. This curse is really cool. It may not be as cool as the gold curse, but it's really, really cool. Now keep your eye out for these coral encrusted message in a bottle. You can find these in barrels, shipwrecks, or in the sand. It'll take you down deep below the waves to find a breath of the sea. Now depending on what color it is, it could be blue, green, or red, and they differ just like mermaid gems. So pretty much it's two times what a mermaid gem is. So it's really, really expensive, and it's worth a lot. Now let's get into what you guys came here for. The secrets in the journal so that you can get the curse. I'm going to be covering the two shrines in the Ancient Isles this time. I will be doing the wilds, the two shrines in the wilds for the next time, and then the final two in the Shores of Plenty for the time after that. And then I will make a video explaining how to do Lorena's Voyage. So let's find the map on our ship. And let's go ahead and find the Shrine of Ancient Tears. The Shrine of Ancient Tears will be right next to Thieves Haven, and we're also going to find the Shrine of Tribute, which will be in between Old Salt Atoll and Shark Bay Cove. So let's go ahead and sail straight to the Shrine of Ancient Tears, and let's complete the journals for that one first. I just wanted to quickly point out, if you guys didn't know, that all you need to do is find the journals and complete Lorena's final quest to unlock the curse. You don't have to complete all the accommodations to get the curse. I made the mistake, and I didn't read what the accommodation was needed for the curse, so I was very, very confused. So I just want to let you all know, and um, yeah, so I hope, it, I hope that you guys will know that for the future. and won't have to worry about that. 
So you'll know when you're at the shrine because you'll see these big, colorful colors in the sky. That is how you know where the shrine is and where it is at. And that is how you know treasuries are active as well. We'll get into treasuries in another video. So we're going to jump straight down into the water and we're going to swim all the way down to the shrine. The shrine isn't too deep down in the water, but it is a good swim. It is a good distance. Um, I wanted to point out that the entrance is always marked by glowies. Glowy coral, glowy giant coral, a bunch of glowies. Um, and usually a half shipwreck will tell you where the entrance is. So keep your eye out for that. And I also want to stress that you want to keep at least one person on the boat to watch the boat because coral, coral loot will show up everywhere and you want to be able to collect that and not be sunk. So make sure that you have someone on your boat unless you want to risk it. Um, during my experiences, no one has really messed with our ship. Um, everyone's done their own kind of different thing. Uh, unless they were just all at different shrines at different times. Um, but we got very lucky for the first time doing this. Um, <clears throat> so we got to get the curse pretty fast. So um, we're going to enter into this. And once we enter, I'll show you guys how to complete the shrine and where the secrets are. So once we've entered here, we're going to see a hole over in the top right of the, of the shrine. We're going to go into that hole and we're going to notice that there's a huge cavern in here full of coral and um, lost things. So first we're going to solve this area of the puzzle. There's little floor mats on the floor or little plate, plate mats. We're going to step on every single one of these plate mats. There is one in every corner of this room on the stairwells. So all you need to do is go around and find the stairwells and look for all of it. Once you've done that, a room to the west side of the room, up really high, will open. And that is the solving of that part of this shrine. The journal is going to be near an, a stone altar, near a big door. Um, it is very big stone altar. It is near a giant like pool puddle thing. And all you need to do is read it and that is your first journal. So we have found our first piece of coral loot right after finding that journal. All we're going to do is store it inside of the mermaid. The mermaid can hold 20 pieces of loot, and when you get back to your ship, a mermaid will come up and you can redeem your loot from that mermaid. So after we've done that, we're going to head up to the top of the stairs, and we're going to find the ladder right next to the waterfall. We're going to climb up that ladder. We're going to go to the left, they're going to see another ladder. We're going to climb up that one. And then we're pretty much just going to proceed to parkour to this opening with another stairwell in it. Um, once we see the stairwell, we're going to go up the stairwell. We are going to find this room with some loot in it and a lever. So um, we're going to hit that lever. You're going to hear the sound of water draining. Um, and shaking um, that will be the well draining so get, collect all this loot put it in the mermaid head back down and then we're gonna go down the well and there will be another journal down there so before we get number before we get journal number two we're gonna lay all four of these brazers outside of this room um, it is going to open a door to the east side of the uh, shrine east side of the shrine and in that room as soon as you enter you turn right on a barrel there will be journal number five it'll say journal number five and you read that journal and that'll be your second journal after reading this journal light all the four brazers in this room as well it will open a door on the bottom west side of the place of the shrine um, so open that and there will be a room and enter into that room now when we enter into this room, we're going to notice there's three different types of statues. There's a turtle, there's a parrot, and then there's crab, and then there's butterfly. Keep this in mind, we'll need to know this for later. And while we're in this room, there is a f the fourth journal in this room. From the butterfly statue, look left. Right next to the crab statue, there will be a journal. This will be your fourth journal. Read it, and that'll be your fourth secret. 
So we put our loot inside the mermaid. We're gonna jump down into this well. We will land into a pit of water. And once we are in here, there's gonna be an opening. We will see that there will be a journal sitting on the altar right there. You're gonna read it. And after you read it, that'll be your second journal. So after you read this journal, you're gonna write, wanna light all four of these brazers in this room. It will open a door, and this door will lead you all the way back up top. So follow this hallway all the way up top until you find a lever. You pull that lever down, it'll open a small little door for you to walk through, and you can get back up into the main area so that you're not stuck down there from the well. You might find some loot there as well, so make sure to grab that. So after you've gotten back into the main room, you're gonna walk into this hallway. You're gonna look left, look right. It's gonna be two long corridors. Whichever way you go, it doesn't matter, <clears throat> but this is called the butterfly room. You must solve this puzzle to move on. Now completing this puzzle will give you the flame for the butterfly. So you'll complete one of the four rooms. So for this one, all you need to do is go around and light the brazers and pull the levers to the bottom. The levers of the butterflies will be on the walls. Just pull them down and light the three brazers. Doing so will open a big door on the left side of the hallway with a butterfly on the ground. You have completed the butterfly room. The next room in the tur is the turtle room. Completing this room will light the fire in the statue for the turtle signifying that you've completed this room. Again, you must pull three levers, but this time you must light four brazers around the room. Explore the room, find the four brazers, step on the pressure plates, and you can find loot in the walls. After you have lit the last brazier and you've pulled all the levers, a room will open with a couple of pieces of loot and a mermaid statue. Put your loot inside of the mermaid statue, <clears throat> and there will be two brazers in there. Light those two brazers and head to the opposite side of the room. There will be another door that opens. Now the next room that you're going to encounter is the parrot room. This room, you must light all the brazers first. There will be four brazers. I kind of struggle with this one, but light the four brazers first around the room and then continue to lower the four, the three different levers. You have to lower them in rapid succession um, very fast or else the door will not open. Start with the one on the right and then move to the one that's inside of the wall and then run to the other side of the room where the other drop, where the other lever is and drop it and the door will open for you. This room is a little harder to do but you can do it and it is very possible. So light the brazers first and do the, do the levers in order in a rapid succession. Now before we move on, I forgot to mention that back in the loot room of the turtle chamber, go straight ahead and in that last room with the lever and the brazer, all your, the journal will be chilling right there on the floor if you have not found it already. I apologize for not showing you, I forgot, um, but it's straight across from the loot room and it's in the turtle chamber puzzle. So this last puzzle is the crab room. This crab will light up the last statue that you need. There will be two levers inside of the f inside of the walls, so you must press down on a floor plate to open them. There is only about two brazers, but there is three levers that you must pull, and you must also pull these in rapid succession, or else you'll have to start over. So quickly pull these down, light the brazers along the way, and the final door will open for you, leading to this hallway. Now this room will lead you right back to the statue room with all the flames. Now do not be worried if you don't, if you see a flame out like the turtle and the crab in this one. That means that you just did not light all the brazers, but this shrine, the shrines you do not have to complete. There's no accommodation for completing them. There's accommodation for discovering them and getting the journals inside of them. So don't worry if you do not complete it, but there is an elevator to get out. There is a way to get out. You can take the elevator and swim all the way back up to your boat, or you can choose to take the mermaid, um, but I am just going to take the mermaid for this one because it is much faster to get back to our boat. 
Once we get back to our boat, we'll notice that there's a friendly mermaid in the water. They are waiting to give us our loot. So go up to them, hold whatever button it tells you to hold, and your loot will come up. Proceed to get the loot on your boat, and after you've gotten all the loot on your boat, head to your map table, mark the Shrine of Ancient Tributes, because that is the next shrine that I will be showing you for this video. So once we've gotten to our second shrine, we're going to go down, and the entrance to the shrine is going to be a small little gate near the side where all the glowies are. There is going to be a lever. You push that lever down, it'll open just barely enough for you to fit through. This will take you to a giant room with a mermaid statue and two hallways. Now directly behind this mermaid statue, there's going to be a p two piles of rubble. One on the ground, and there's going to be another a little farther back in the corner over there. Your journal will be located right over there, and that will be your first journal. It'll be sitting right on the top of the rubble. From the journal, we're going to turn left. We're going to swim all the way down this hallway until we find a room with blue coral in it. As soon as we enter this room, we will see that there is an air bubble vent. And right at the base of this air bubble vent, somewhere in the coral, there is your second book, your second secret, your second journal. Read that and you've unlocked your second journal for this shrine. From this second journal, we're going to go left and we're going to swim all the way down this hallway until we find a room with bright red coral. You will know you, well, you are in this room because you will see coral everywhere. When you enter into this room, there's going to be a little ledge, a little stone ledge, and on this ledge will be your third journal. Read that and you've unlocked the third secret, the third journal, the third book for this shrine. After reading this book, we're going to swim backwards, back towards the way that we came in, and we're going to see this giant mermaid with a conch. Turn left from this mermaid, and we will come into this giant room with a statue. Remember this room for later, because we will need to, we will have to solve a siren mural puzzle. So now we're gonna head all the way back to where we first came from, swim all the way back down to where you found our first journal in that mermaid statue. On the wall, there's going to be a siren mural answer. Remember this, write it down, or do something to remember it so that you know, because we will need this for when we find the mermaids. From here, we're going to find the mermaid statue, Gem Mermaid. This one, there, all these mermaid statues are separate. You are going to go all the way down back through the hallway that we came from until you find a coral, orange coral room that leads to a hallway to the left. You will take to the left, you will see a loot mermaid, and you will turn right and you will see your gem mermaid. Now, if you remember it correctly, the gem mermaid must be high, so damage it until its arm is all the way as high as it'll go. Now we're going to go to that room that I told you to remember. We're going to find the coral statue next. The coral statue is in a crack in the bottom right of the statue room. All you need to do is go into that crack, follow it, and there will be stairs, stone stairs that you go up, and the coral statue will be there. Now the coral statue must be in the middle, so damage the coral statue until its staff is in the middle. After that, we will exit the room and we will go to the southeast side, go up the staircase, and we'll find the ch final mermaid, the chain mermaid. Now the chain mermaid has to be low, so damage the chain mermaid until it's low, and go to the conch mermaid, damage it, it'll play its song, and the water will rise. After the water is risen, we will go into this opening right here. 
we will find our fourth journal after we go ahead and parkour over to the other side of the statue. We can find it lying on a piece of coral platform. Read it and that is your fourth book. After that, we must step on all of the pressure plates on the floor. There are three of them in rapid succession. Two of them are on the other side of the statue. One of them is on the side where you jump over. So go ahead and press those down in the mer and the statue will move revealing secret hidden room and some sirens. After you defeat the sirens, swim down into the room and you will find an opening. Head into that opening. You will find your last journal and a decent amount of loot. Grab that loot, get out of there, get back to your ship, get to an outpost, sell it, and you've completed the all of the ancient isle isles shrines. Congratulations. You only have four more to go. So raise your anchor and set sail, because this new update has a lot more to cover and a lot more things to find. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that this video helped you. And if this video helped you, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Until next time, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.